This is the make and bake for Crafting Magic's Witchy Essentials box number two. This is the perfume. So as you can see, yeah, everything in the bag, you get the instructions, which I taped to the desk there to keep them still. And if you want to have a look, you also get two roller balls to make the perfume in. and the bottles of both the essential oil which in this case was geranium and the base oil or mixer oil which is grapeseed you're also going to need some isopropyl alcohol and a pipette the alcohol is of course to sterilize the pipette and the roller ball i actually had already boiled some water and put it through the glass and then let it dry and put it back into the bag so that those were sterile. If you didn't get this set then the grapeseed oil also came in one of the previous spell boxes. I don't remember which one but we did get that big bottle of grapeseed. So the first thing to do is to add your geranium oil to the bottle. Now of course if you don't want to use geranium, yes I spilt my grapeseed oil all over the place there, we'll come back to that later. <laughs> if you don't want to use geranium you can use something else as long as you make sure that the oil is safe for use on skin. There are different grades of oil. You need a grade one or pure essential oil. And it has to be one that you can use safely on skin. You must check that. So I'm putting some into the bottle here. I found that about one fifth of this bottle was approximately the right amount. The instructions say 20 drops, but it's very hard to test drops. And you can see there a bit of mar magic mirroring to show you roughly how much it was in there, but it was about a fifth. Some oils are stronger than others, of course, so you'll need to bump it up or reduce it down depending, and you could mix two oils or even three oils together to make different scents. I'm just using my pipette now to add the grapeseed oil, and you can see that if, if you are at all shaky, this is going to get messy. Mine already got messy. This was the best way to, I found to hold the bottles, holding them both together, but if you are shaky or you, you're not very steady with your hands or you have a tendency to knock things over, I strongly suggest you use a bit of blue tack to stick your bottles to the desk or even rope somebody else in to hold the bottles for you because they, they are so easy to knock over, so easy. So we'll come to the clean up later. I did make sure that the thread of the bottle was clean and then I popped in my ball into the top of the perfume bottle. And then mix the oil together. Now, I wasn't sure whether oil would bubble or froth or whatever if you shook it too hard. So I just mixed it, as you can see, by tipping it up and down. Tested the roller ball, popped the lid on. And then, also in your kit, you had some labels which have your date and the name of the person who made it, which is handy. Essential oils do go off, especially if they're not in a light-proof container. There's a reason they come in these brown bottles. It's to protect them. So, you know, even though this perfume bottle is likely to live in the bottom of my mum's handbag, it does need to have a date on it so that she can be aware, you know, if she's still got it in 2020, she might want to consider throwing it out. 
because I think by then it would have gone off. And then what I discovered was these labels, even though I used a micron pen, the pen didn't dry properly on the label. So you'll see when I put the label on, I actually used another piece of paper to smooth it down rather than using my finger because it smudged when I tried to put it down, even though I'd waited for it to dry. And that is that. There is your geranium oil all done. And my mum loved it. Now, for those of you who, like me, spill your oil all over the desk, spray it with some alcohol. Don't try and wipe it up, just the oil. It will get everywhere. Use a little bit of alcohol, break down the oil, and you'll be able to wipe it up with a bit of kitchen paper. So I thought, since the tutorial was pretty easy, that I would show you how I put this information into my book of shadows. And again, very simple page. I literally decorated the left-hand side of the page with DIY perfume oil and wrote a little bit about what perfume oil can be used for. Obviously, it's not just for putting on your body. You can use it as anointing oil. You can use lower grade oils to use as you know, spritzers for potpourri or whatever, or room centers. You can use them for anointing tools or candles. You can put them on your altar to make it smell nice. You can use them for spells. Lots and lots of different uses for different oils. And if you've been getting the boxes for a while, you'll have seen some of those, like protection oil and things like that. If you want to be able to wear them, make sure you use high-grade oils. If you don't want to be able to wear them and you just want to have them sprayed about somewhere or something, then by all means use cheaper ones. Do be careful around pets, though. Most essential oils are not safe for use around pets, no matter how much people tell you it's okay to use tea tree oil that it is a very bad idea to use essential oils around your animals. So I wrote out the ingredients, which was pretty simple. I could have just put the Crafting Magic page into my journal, but I like to keep my journal handwritten. I like to put in my own thoughts, make it look like a, a journal page almost. And I did make a note there that you need to use high-grade oil. I used a different style of bottle. I actually have some patchouli oil in a really beautiful bottle that's decorated with a, a red crystal and some gold embellishments. So I decided to use that bottle as a decoration on my page because the rollerball bottle was just a little bit bland. Just did a very quick sketch. And then I believe I put a hand with a pipette, yep, just to show, again, a picture paints a thousand words. You don't need to write out, do this, do that, use this to put this into here. You don't need to do that. The picture shows you what you're doing. You're using the pipette to put your oil into the bottle. And the thing on the side tells you that it's one fifth or 20 percent essential oil and the rest is carrier oil. So just a couple more notes there on things I thought I could do. And because it was only one page, I thought it would be nice to have use of the page on the other side. And I actually decided to turn this into a page where I can write down oil recipes. So I started with the basic one that we had, the geranium oil perfume. And I have others. I have uh, protection oil and candle anointing oil and all sorts. So I can add those in as and when I use them. Generally, I like to keep my book of shadows or my, my journal as only things that I actually use or have used or have tried, as opposed to just a collection of information that doesn't mean anything. So as and when I make further oils or try different recipes, I will pop them in there. I also have a couple that I already have so I will put the recipes for those in there as well, so that when I come to make more, I will know what it is. Added a little bit of watercolour. This journal is my 600 page journal. I will put a link in the description to my Amazon store where you can 
purchase this journal if you actually if you want it it's a really nice journal it takes um, paint and everything beautifully it's fountain pen friendly it's a really nice journal but it's big and chunky and hefty and i love it oh and it's got gold edges always a plus so there you go there's my page for my recipe hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you again very soon